Totally! Over here! Teacher! There you are! I've been waiting for you to come back for a long time! Sorry. You know, our land is really far away. Let's go to my workshop. I finished preparing everything. But please don't pull me! By the way, I heard you used my workshop while I was gone. Yes. Cordelia said it was okay. Cory did it without telling me again. Wasn't it really messy? That's so embarrassing. It wasn't as messy as I thought. You thought it would be even worse? Wait, no, I didn't mean that. We're here. It's sparkly clean now. It doesn't look that different. No way! I worked so hard to clean up. I take it back. Um, oh, this cauldron looks really shiny. It's like new. Wait, it really is new. Yep, it's a cauldron just for you. Just for me. It might be hard to share one, so I got it for you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. You're like family to me. We'll be living, adventuring, and synthesizing together. Together? Yeah, you're right. Why are you surprised? You didn't want to live with me? I do. I really do. I just didn't expect to hear it, so I got jittery. Oh, you'll get used to it real quick. If you need anything, just ask. Sh sure I'm looking forward to it. Without your aid, who knows what could have happened? You don't have to thank me. I only did what was expected from a member of the Schwarzlong family. Let this be a lesson to you. Don't go to places beyond your means. I'll be sure to remember it. Let me formally thank you at a later date. I thought I told him I didn't need to be thanked. Although this does feel kind of nice. Mimi, what were you talking about? Oh, Totori! It doesn't concern you. Come on, tell me. Mimi saved that adventurer earlier. He got reckless and was surrounded by monsters. Then Mimi saved the day. Hey, hey! Who said you 
you could talk. This isn't something to be flaunted. Mimi helped someone? Really? I doubted my ears, too, but it's true. I never thought it would happen. I don't believe it. She never helps me with anything. Hey, you two! I can hear you! S sorry we're not being mean. We were just really surprised. We weren't talking about how you're the last person we expected to help someone for anything. Really? We didn't say you're always short-tempered and irritable. So that's what you two think of me. I better maintain that image then. Oh, she's really angry now. I'm sorry. Please don't beat me. Hi, Totori. Hello. You seem in high spirits today. <laughs> Cordelia complimented me for the first time ever. She said a lot more customers are coming since I started. Really? That's great to hear. I think it's thanks to you, really. It's because you fulfill so many requests that we keep getting more and more. I didn't do that much. Yes, you did. Please keep up the good work. Let's do it together. S sure. Let's work hard together. No, that isn't right. Why are you so stubborn? Then stop talking mumbo-jumbo and explain it in words I can understand. Those voices... Mark and Hagel... Y you shouldn't fight! <laughs> you came at just the right time. Explain this to him for me, kiddo. That's my line. I should never have come here. Um, I don't know what's going on. I just wanted some parts to be made. Since traveling with you, Missy, my machines wear down much faster. I told him to screw the parts, and I'll build the whole damn thing for him. Then he started complaining. It's like he doesn't trust my skills. Machines are delicate things. Not everybody can or should make them. Delicate, my ass? What are you, a girl? Weapons only need to be big and strong. I don't really think either of you are being that unreasonable. He's wrong. Listening to him makes me doubt his intellect. His head is full of meat rather than ideas. My head's full of meat? <laughs> That's real flattering. I don't think that was a compliment. As you see, it's like we speak a different language. I'll leave you to deal with him, Missy. Farewell. Hold on a second. I'm not going to let a customer rag on me and walk out. You're going to have to watch me forge something before you go. Do you ever stop shouting? Come on, Missy, I'm in trouble here. Help your fellow comrade out. Well, this seems like a guy's topic, so I think I'll just leave. Are you going to forsake me? Isn't that a bit too cold? Come over here and I'll show you. Weapons aren't about logic. It's all about soul. Scientists have no need for souls! I kind of feel sorry for him. I didn't think Hegel could actually overwhelm Mark like that.
Hello there. Hi, Mark. Sorry to intrude while you're working, but I need a favor. Do we have a guest? Hey! Well, what's wrong, teacher? Well, he's... <gasps> the exceedingly exceptional super genius scientist... Whoa, I can't do it! Oh, you can't either. You haven't changed one bit. Long time no see. You know each other? Not exactly. We're simply acquainted. Totally! Why are you friends with this Mimi? Mimi? I was merely being competitive as a scientist to defend our pride against alchemy. Oh, I see. You did the same things to teach her. Now I know it was my misunderstanding. For that, I apologize. As you can see, I'm good friends with your student. So how about letting bygones be bygones? You gave a really long name for me, but Totori gets to call you Mark? Totori, that's so not fair! Huh? Why are you yelling at me? Then you can call me Mark as well. I only did it because you refused to stop calling me Briny. I despise it. Anyone called Briny would... How'd you come up with that name? He's Mark McBride, so I just turned it into Briny. It's cute, right? I don't know about that. Why not? Of all people, I thought you'd understand. Seems as though we have a unanimous vote here. Now I have no reason to argue with you anymore. So, can I still call you Briny? That would be a no. See? He's still a meanie! There, there. Calm down, both of you. He might be weird, but Mark isn't a bad person. I think. Okay. If you say so, Totori. Let's leave it at that for today. I want to talk about work now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why you're here. There is something I need. If you can make it as soon as possible, that would be great. I still think Briny is cute. I'm not bullying her! Then... can I call you Cory? I said no! Ah, I'm sorry! You are bullying her! Why won't you let Totori call you that? That's because... it's special because you're the only one who calls me that. Just me? Special? 
Jeez, stop making me say these things. I take it back. <laughs> Corey, you're so cute. Get off me and don't call me cute. You're so, so cute. Let me go. Stop making that stupid grin. No fair. They're having fun. I wish I had a girl childhood friend. Now that I got a fancy new cauldron, it's time to synthesize. Synthesize? I was. But when you watch me, I get butterflies in my stomach. Why? What's there to be nervous about? I don't want to be nervous, but I just am. I want to watch you synthesize. I know. Why don't we do it together? Together? Is that possible? never tried it before, but I'm sure we can do it. We'll mix the cauldron together. It'll be fun. Together. That does sound like fun. Let's do it. Yeah! So, what were you going to make? I wanted to start with a supplement. That, huh? Here are the ingredients. Let's start. Sure. Twirl, 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 twirl. All done. That was fast. Wait, what's this, teacher? What do you mean? It's a supplement. Or not. It's a... Yeah, it's a pie. A pie made from a supplement. So, it's a sub-pie mint. That's not what I was asking. How did a pie come out anyway? I don't know. Wrong ingredients? Or I did it subconsciously because I'm hungry right now. That's a really big mistake. Sorry, I really am. I'll be more careful next time. Let's try again. Sure. All right, let's start over. Let's see. Medicine, let's make some medicine next. Medicine? Sure. What do you want to use as the ingredients? Let's do a really basic one so we don't make a mistake. This and this. All right, let's go. Ready? Twirl, twirl, twirl. Twirl, twirl, twirl. <laughs> Another pie. Uh, I'll name it Meta Pie. One bite cures what ails you. What are you talking about? How did we make pie again? I. I don't know. But this might be a revolutionary discovery. We synthesize together, everything turns into pies. But I don't want to make pies, teacher. You're just getting in the way. So you don't have to help anymore. <gasps> but...
Good. You're now rank six. Congrats! Thank you. You'll need one more rank for a license extension, but I'm sure you'll be fine. You have a lot of time left. One more rank. Finally. That doesn't mean you can relax. It'd be a crying shame if you slacked off now and your license got revoked. I, I know that. I'll be sure to see the job through to the very end. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll be fine. Good luck. Just a little more to go. Yes. <laughs> what are you grinning about? It's giving me the creeps. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> You're seriously creeping me out. Did something good happen to you? Yep. Look, I ranked up again. Your rank? Looks like you're still working hard as an adventurer. Of course I am. You should know since you go on adventures with me. But when I see my rank go up, it tells me I'm one step closer to being a first-rate adventurer. First-rate adventurer? Ha! <laughs> you don't stand a chance against me. Wait, let me see that. Huh? What? Why are you outranking me? I am? Really? <laughs> Stop making that sickening face! This can't be right! It has to be a mistake! What's wrong with it? I worked really hard for that. You mean to say I haven't? I've worked tens, no, hundreds of times harder than you! I never said you didn't. Why are you mad at me? It was just... I don't believe it. It's a mistake. A Schwarzlong cannot possibly lose to some redneck. But it's not my fault. I just outrank you. Oh, now you're talking back to me. You think you're superior once you've attained a higher rank? You always say you're better than me. Saying Schwarzlong family this or Schwarzlong family that. But that's true. What's wrong with saying that? Cordelia told me an aristocrat's title doesn't mean much. <laughs> Keep going, and I'll be furious. You are both aristocrats, but Cordelia is so much nicer. You always brag and act mean. Shut up! <gasps> uh, I'm sorry, I... Right. You're the daughter of the greatest adventurer and the student of an amazing alchemist. I have nothing but my title. You must see me as someone petty. That's not true. I never thought of you like that. I hate you! Mimi! making a scene at my workplace. Why couldn't you take it elsewhere? I didn't mean to say all that. Why did I... Calm down. You just wanted your best friend to compliment you, right? I thought Mimi would congratulate me. But she... There, there. Don't cry. I know she's in the wrong here. But you also went a bit too far. What should I do? Mimi hates me now. She said it in the spur of the moment. She doesn't mean it. But... but... Oh, jeez. You're such a handful. I'll deal with her. Just stop crying. Can you do anything about her? Of course. What? You don't trust me? I do. Thank you. Good. Now go home for today. Have a good night's sleep, and you might feel better tomorrow. Okay. Jeez. 
I'll get Rorona to talk with her. What should I do with that troublesome little girl? something. What is it? It's about this container. The one in my workshop has the same... Yeah, I connected the two. I thought it'd be convenient if you're using both workshops. Connected? You make it sound simple. What's wrong? Did I cause trouble because of it? No, no, not at all. But... How did you connect them? Our land is so far from my village. It's actually kind of hard to explain, but in simple terms, I went clamp. Clamp? Yeah, I took the two and went clamp. I'll tell you more when you know alchemy better. Clamp? Now I'm even more confused. I see. The words of a seasoned craftsman carry a lot of weight. No, oh, man! You're the one who taught me so much. I really have to take note of suggestions from youngsters. You're talking again? They sound like they're having fun. Hello there! Hey, kiddo! Don't just stand there! Come over here! S sir Ugh! You both have liquor on your breath. We had to drink. I just met my bestest friend in the whole wide world. What better reason is there to drink? Bestest friend? You two? What happened after I left? Who cares about that? It's ancient history now! So, kiddo, I hear you keep taking Marky Boy here out on adventures! You mean Marky Boy? Well, it's not all the time. It makes me jealous. You get to go on adventures with the man who contains the greatest brain in all of our land! If he weren't with you, I'd like to keep him at my forge forever. No, no. My brains alone can only go so far. I'm only able to go on adventures with Missy here thanks to your weapons, Haggy. <laughs> your weapons are great! No, exquisite! I do think his weapons are really good. Hey, Marky boy! Don't you think Haggy is a bit too... plain? Calling me Marky boy? Sounds like what someone would say decades ago. What's wrong with that? It's great! So what if it sounds decades old? Then Haggy should be good too. Add one more letter to it, and it'd be like a dream come true for you. Uh, are you fighting again? Maybe you should stop now. <laughs> You're right about that. If you say so, I'm sure it's right. Uh-huh. If you say so, I'm sure it's right. They're just drunk. Somebody please help me. Sorry, I'm gonna pretend I don't know you today.
doing. Will Cordelia really do something? Look at your pathetic face. You make it seem like it's my fault. Well, then again, it is. inside no not now oh right you two are still fighting Tultory said she wanted to apologize she has nothing to apologize for I I just can't see her right now that means you eventually will right yes so please don't tell her I was... Sure, I'll keep it a secret. I hope you'll see her soon. I'll try. Now if you'll excuse me. I'm her teacher, but I can't do anything for her when she needs it most. No point frowning over it. I just have to be sure to smile for Totori as much as I can. Yeah. I'm home! Do you know what happened with Mimi? I tried talking with her. She seemed depressed, so I'm sure she regrets what she said. Really? Then we can make up? Where is she right now? Well, about that. She's being stubborn. So... we can't? It's not that. It's just... Uh... Mimi! I'm sorry I said those terrible things to you. I didn't mean to say them, but... Stop it right there! Don't talk to me yet. You're still mad at me. What do I have to do for you to forgive me? I'll do anything. I said don't talk to me. Here. That was fast. You know, you have a real troublesome personality. You can save your breath. Just do your job. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay, you're good to go. Congrats! You've ranked up, too. Nothing worth congratulating. Look at this. I see it. You're the same rank as me now. That's right. You see? When I put my mind to it, it's easy. Now I don't have a reason anymore. A reason? For what? A reason to... argue with you. What? I couldn't hear you. Listen and listen carefully. You now have no reason to look down on me. S sure. Good. We're back to normal. You got that? Are you sure? I didn't do anything to make it up to you. It's fine. It was just a teensy bit my fault this time around. I still have to make this right. I'm sorry. Huh? Did you just apologize? No. Yes, you did. I never thought you'd actually apologize. I said I didn't. Anyway, if you're going to go out, be sure to tell me. Good day. Hey, wait! I'm not done talking! 
She can be a huge pain. Compared to her, I'm not that much of a handful, am I? 